and welcome to this video that's going to be all about the functionality of the SimCrest Auto Email for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. I'm going to go through all the features of the app and explain how to set them, set them all up for the different parameters so you can fully utilize the Auto Email. Even though Business Central does have inherent email functionality, the SimCrest Auto Email takes this so much further. This includes different email templates depending upon the document type you're sending, default attachments to support the email documents, and emails are sent via an email log that is processed by Business Central at set intervals to allow the user to be freed up immediately, even when sending thousands of emails. The log can also serve as a history table showing when emails were sent, who received these emails, and who sent them. Finally, we've also added special emails like short paid invoices and collection notices that are beneficial to you. Let's start off by taking a look at the setup table for auto email. Up here in the general tab, you're going to have the send from email address and the send from name, and this is going to be the default sender of the emails we are sending out. The email templates that we will look at later can override the setting, but if needed, but if not, the specified at the template level, this is the email the sender will get when used. Test mode is going to be where you want to test the functionality of the auto email without accidentally sending test emails to customers and vendors. Instead, auto email will use the test mode email address to send all emails to. If you're only testing a specific email template, you can specify that test mode email in the template instead, but we're going to get to that later. And so the email invoices, credit memos when posting will email the invoice or credit memo automatically when posted. Now for the statement options. These options are for the statement report that is used by auto email. The idea is that we want our statement report to be able to run automatically and unattended and read the parameters from the setup table instead. So the statement report that comes with auto email does just that. Next up for the setup is the email templates. Upon installation, these are the templates that you get. And these are the templates that we set up to handle each document type that we want to send via the auto email. Each document type can have one or several email templates set up, but only one can be active at a time. And so the active templates that are shown here are in the email template section. There are two special email templates that I'd like to explain a little bit further, short paid and collections, where short paid is used to send special email to notify a customer that a specific invoice is not paid or short paid, it's essentially sending the same document as the sales invoice template, but the mail subject and body text is different. You will also be presented with an error message if you try to send a short paid email for an invoice that's fully paid. And the collection email is a great feature that allows you to send a collection email with one click. The email will contain a statement with a list of all open invoices and credit memos, including a copy of each open document on the statement. This is a huge time saver for any accounts receivable clerk. Again, auto email will display an error if you try to send the collection email to a customer that has no past due balance. You only need to set up templates for the document types that you want to email. And now for the license. This shows the current license information like expiration date and the license company name. And then let's also look at the create job queue entry. We need to set up the job queue to be able to process emails automatically. Use the create job queue entry action to create the job queue. Adjust the job queue entry as needed and set ready to once it's completed. All right, now that we've gone over the setup of the auto email, what we're going to look at here is now the email templates, which is the heart and soul of the SimCrest auto email app. So from there, we can either search for it in the search box or we can go ahead and click on here on the email templates. And so when, when you install the auto email, these are the templates that are all installed for you. Obviously, you're going to want to change these to you know, relate to your business, but you know, these are what come with it, and you can always add more. So let's select the sales invoice template for you to take a look at. So as you can see here, we've got, this, we've got the code, we've got the description, document type. Code is going to be uh, unique. You know, the report number is the report that we want to run and attach to the email. And you can find the report numbers in the report layout selection and pick the one you like. As you can see here, we're doing 1306, but let's go in and take a look at the report layout section. And you can see here, we've got all these different reports, and we're going to take a look at 1306, which is the sales invoice. Okay, So obviously, if you have any custom reports, you can also attach those as well. The email address from and name 
are used to override the standard fields in the setup table we looked at earlier. If these are left blank, auto email will be used the setting in the setup table instead. You can also email from a user and that's used to specify the name and email address of the user that is logged in and using auto email. If we look at the user setup, we can we can set up users' email addresses and name. Please be aware that selecting this option will override the email address and from the template. So the email subject, that's going to be you know, the, the subject of the email invoice. The percent one is used to merge in the invoice number, and the per email body is written in HTML and include as much text as needed. If more advanced text is needed, it is recommended to build the HTML in an external editor and copy and paste it here. Percent one is the invoice number, and percent two is the customer name for this template. Please refer to our manual for more information. The merge fields, percent one and percent two, depend upon the document type. The manual explains what merge fields are available for each document type. Test mode and test mode 2 email is used to test the emails that are using this template. These settings override the settings in the auto email setup. As long as test mode is on, the emails are only sent to the email addresses specified here. So let's go back and take a look at the collection template. You will notice it's set up in the same as the other template except there are three reports to be specified, statement, invoice, and credit memo. Make sure all your templates that you plan to use are set up correctly and tested. Then pick the template as the active template in the auto email setup. Another great feature of the Simcrest auto email app is the email attachments. And so you can email attachments to other documents that you send out with each document type. They are only specific to the document type and not to the specific document itself. Let's take a look how this works. So here's the auto email attachment. So we're going to create a new one and we're going to do this for the sales invoice. And we are going to give it a new code. Terms and con, these are the terms and conditions that we're going to be sending with ours. And so we're going to import an attachment. We're going to find that file to import there we go we're going to activate it and now every time that we send out a sales invoice that's terms and conditions are going to go with it you can specify as many attachments as you'd like and make sure to make them active to include them in the emails so not only can you add generic attachments to documents, you can also add specific documents and email those out via the auto email as well. Let's go in and take a look at the sales quotes. And what we're going to look at here is we're going to look at uh, uh, this, in, this quote right here to Trey Research. And when we look in here, we can actually see that they've got a few documents attached. And so on this sales quote, we go into the documents. And we look and we say, okay, we've got these two files. One is a HTML and the other is a, 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 a picture. Uh, but you can see here that if we add these to the auto email, then whenever we send out this specific sales quote, not only will it send out the documents and the attachments for the documents, but it will also send out these specific attached documents. Another great feature of the Simcrest auto email is the auto email log. And this log shows all documents that are being submitted and what's sent as emails. The log is used to show what was sent and by whom. You can also see if any emails didn't send due to setup er errors. Use the dashboard action to see an overview of an exceptions that, that might have errors so that you can fix those. If you're on a document and want to see what the status of an email log entry for this document, you can also click on show email log. If an email goes out and an email goes wrong, forgot to or from email address, this will log it here and you can actually see the error message and why it didn't go out. Don't forget to stay connected with us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter. Find us on LinkedIn. 
go to our website, give us a call, email us, or check out our blog. We look forward to talking with you. Have a great day. Thank you.